Hello, everyone, and welcome to Momentum Channel. Here we are with another portfolio update with Interactive Brokers, our US dollars fractional shares portfolio that we have, and how it's actually been growing with a goal of growing this into at least $10,000 in the near future. These past couple of weeks have been quite tricky for investors with lots of volatility and quite painful rise for many investors. But we've managed to survive. And in fact, in the last trading day, we finally had some positive news. So let's get into our stock portfolio and see where things are at its time. As you notice on the screen, uh, we are uh, kind of ranking these holdings uh, based on the number of positions we have. The only position that we have in Canadian dollars is one from a Canadian company called Very Good Food with ticker symbol V-E-R-Y. We have 146 and it has actually been one of our most horrific uh, holdings here. In terms of our average price, we are looking at $3.76 Canadian and current last trading price for very good food was at 0 0.73, only 73 cents. That is actually down by close to 81% or down 442 Canadian dollars. Our approach with, with very good food, we are kind of keeping it untouched and um, waiting for hopefully the price to come back up. We are not adding more shares to our very good food. Next on our list, we have Plug Power. It's an American company and all of the, our remaining holdings are actually in US dollars. Plug Power, we have 4.87 fractional shares, roughly. It is down by 36%. The average price for our shares is at $29.46. You'd notice here from the columns that we're displaying, the last trading price for Plug Power was at $18.81. I've also added the 52-week low price and 52-week high price, just to give you an idea of the range of the prices in the past one year. Uh, the last trading price that we've had, our average price at least, is uh, much uh, closer to the 52-week low price. And in fact, the last trading, 18.81, is hovering close to that 52-week low price, which is why we think... Um, Given our average price, it would be a good time for us to uh, continue to add to our holdings of plug power. And I believe based on analyst estimates that was recently announced, uh, many analysts have changed their ratings for plug power to more bullish and positive. Uh, we think that it would be a good time for us to gradually add fractional shares of plug power. Next on our list, we have NVIDIA. We have 3.92 fractional share with an average price of $136.33. The average, uh, the last price for NVIDIA has been at $231.39. Definitely has had a lot of pullbacks, but still we are showing a positive 70% return or up 373 US dollars. The last trading price for NVIDIA is somewhat halfway between the 52 week low and 52 week high price, as you notice from the screen. Twilio is our next holding. We have 3.8 fractional shares of Twilio. We added uh, to our existing shares of Tulio. In fact, I believe last week we add and bought three shares, full shares of Tulio, with our average price currently at $214.21. The last trading price for Tulio was at $188.90, which is hovering a lot closer to their 52-week low price. Our approach continue, is to continue to buy a fraction of shares of Tulio. We think it's a great company, and these uh, massive pullbacks that it's had uh, creates a wonderful opportunity to add to our existing shares. Apple is our next holding. We have three fractional shares of Apple. It is up by 45% or up $163 in USD. The last trading price for Apple was at $170.70. These prices that we talked about here also take into account the after market closing uh, kind of price implications, you know, sometimes after market is closed, this, there are, the market is still uh, allows some after hours trading. And this is takes that after hours trading into account too. All right. Our next holding here is NEO. Here we have 2.27 fraction of shares with an average price of $39.95. The last trading price for NEO was at $21.14 after hours. It is much closer to their 52 low price. Uh, in terms of our holdings, it is down 47% or down $42.80. Okta is one of our other holdings. We, we love this company and we are adding more to our existing shares to fractional shares. We currently have 1.88 fractional shares of Okta. It is down 22% or down $98.80. The last trading price for Okta was at $183.87. Again, hovering 
much closer to their 52 week low price. Realty Income is another uh, company that we own in our portfolio. We have 1.59 or close to 1.6 fraction of shares of Realty Income with an average price of $58.25. The last trading price for Realty Income was at $69.37. It is up by 19% or up $17.80. Realty Income is actually a dividend paying company. UI Pass, the ticker symbol Path, is another uh, growth stock that we have in our holdings, in our uh, portfolio, with 1.39 fraction of shares, with an average price of $45.15. The last uh, price for UPA, uh, the UI Pass company was at $33.42, giving us a lot of uh, opportunity for adding to our existing holdings to bring our average cost average down. The price of $33.42 is much closer to their 52-week low price for this stock. The highest price for this stock was hovering close to $90 in the past one year. So we would like to continue to add to our existing shares of PATH in the week ahead. Disney is one of our other holdings. We have close to one shares of Disney, and it is showing uh, upside of 6%. Uh, the price for Disney, uh, the last try price was at $138.70. And it is, is still much closer to their 52-week low price. Next on our list, we have Alibaba. We have 0.98 fraction of shares with an average price of $174.86. The last trade price for Baba was at $115.47, much closer to their 52-week low price of $108.72. It is down 34% or down $58.30. Netflix was another holdings in our portfolio, which was hammered in the past uh, peak after announcing its uh, earnings report, it actually is down currently by 21%, um, not as terrible as one would have thought, probably because we bought Netflix shares at much lower prices. And at the time, we were actually showing a lot of positive returns, but currently after the price going down, uh, it is uh, doing much worse. We've been adding to our shares of Netflix though through fraction of shares. Our average price of $489.09 is giving us a return of negative 21%, but the last trading price for Netflix was at $387.50. It definitely has recovered a little bit from its uh, decline. It, when the earnings report was announced, the stock ha got hammered, was down a um, huge double-digit percentage, and the lowest price was at $351.46. And the one year high price for that was at $700.99. A lot of room to grow for it. Hopefully if Netflix can recover from its uh, low prices. Continuing down the list, we are looking at Roku. We have 0.67 fraction of shares. It is down 37% with an average price of $240.99. The last trading price for Roku was at $152, much closer to the 52 week low price of only $139. The highest price that Roku has had in the past one year was at $490.76. We are gradually adding to our shares of Roku to fractional share buys. Tesla is another holdings here with 0.64 fractional shares, up 110%. Uh, the last trading price for Tesla was at, at $852. Um, and the highest price that it has had in the past one year was at $1,243.49. Adobe is another holding in our portfolio. We have 0.62 fraction of shares. It is up 11%. The last trading price for Adobe was at $521, and our average purchase price is at $471.23. Next on our list, we have Costco, and a dividend-paying uh, company. Uh, we have 0.52 fraction of shares with an average price of $365.47. It is up 35% or uh, unrealized gain of $66.80. The last trading price for Costco was at $492.80 after hours. Taiwan Semiconductor, we have 0.22 fraction of shares. It's only up by 2% or half a cent. It was last traded for the price of $118.50, still much closer to its 52 week low price. Orient Office REIT, we have 0.16 fraction of shares. It is up uh, actually down by 4.5% uh, or down 12 cents. The last trading price for that was at $16.66. Amazon is one of our other holdings. It currently is showing a negative return of 8.8%. .8%. We have 0.11 fractional of shares. 
The last trading price for Amazon was at $2,885.02, much closer to its 52-week low price. Amazon is another holding that we would like to add to our existing uh, shares to fractional buys in the BCAT. Take to Interactive is another holdings for our portfolio. We have 0.097 fractional shares. It is up by 1.4%. The last trading price for that was at $157.25. And lastly, we have Etsy with 0.05 fractional shares. Our average price was at $197.96. It is down by 26%. The uh, purchase, the last trading price for Etsy is at $147.39, which is much closer to its 52 week low price. The highest price that Etsy has had in the past one year was at $307.75. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look into our holdings that we have with Interactive Brokers. It's a fractional shares, mainly investing in gross uh, US dollar stocks. Uh, what are your thoughts about this portfolio and where it's headed? Do you have any of similar stocks in your portfolio would love to hear from you so be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think if you enjoyed this video and gained something of value from it be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from the video as well and don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on momentum finance we post every week several videos about investing whether it's investing in the stock market such as the fractional shares uh, crypto and dividend stock as well as investing in um, real estate and cryptocurrencies and we also talk about videos uh, focusing on ways to reach financial financial freedom. So you don't want to miss that. Thank you. And I hope to see you next time.